exactly two years uh, when I was like 24, 25 uh, and then uh, which I started in Brussels. Then I played at Limburg United. They wanted to extend the contract but then I was on the crossroads. I needed to decide what I wanted with my future and playing in first division was nice but I thought I need to make the next step in my life. So I started to, to work here at the notary but then 3x3 popped up so that changed the plans a little bit. A really nice story because yeah. first of all I didn't know that your father played basketball. Yeah, he really made it. was yeah. a garden, eh? so wow. you need to keep it as a garden. That's why yeah, this yeah, is yeah. here, yeah, but yeah. in between yet, and nice. you, you cannot see it anymore. But you had the, the lines of, yeah. the, of the bucket. You know, if I wanted to shoot trees, yeah, it was yeah, from sure. here, exactly. in there in the corner. Nice. And, uh, yeah. and it's cool because first I, I grew up here. Eh? Uh -huh. I lived here. I didn't know. The that. office yeah. expanded. Then okay. we had to move out. Okay, okay, okay. But there also was a basketball uh, court. Our first basketball court was at the parking lot. No way. Yes, but okay. then with the cars it was difficult and then he made one here. So he loved really basketball. Yeah, he was not on a high level, but still he was so... Yeah, he really yes. Because I think in the weekends sometimes people parked and he yeah, couldn't play. Sure. He couldn't yeah, play. Yeah. And that's why he made the court here. And, and one that's time true. I played a basketball game against Peter Leuridon. Uh -huh. You know Peter Leuridon? I heard Lurie that. Lurie Bomba, he was yeah. one of the, uh -huh. the main players in like around 2000. Uh -huh. And he was here for to sign uh, uh -huh. some documents. Uh -huh. So I love basketball, but my parents weren't allowing me to only play basketball. They want to have insurance. So I made sure that my studies were good enough so they cannot complain. So they were happy. They were like, your points are well, so you can do whatever you want. When I wake up half an hour later, something is on the schedule. Most of the time practice in the morning. Then I come at 11, I'm at the office. Then I work till the night and then we have practice again and then in between we do, we do meetings, we have calls, uh, interviews, have, we, yeah, interviews. <laughs> we have a physio who helps me a lot with the practical things so today I made letters so he can get the visa, it's, it's a full-time job uh, and then in the weekends I try to see what I missed during the week. That's her. How do you create the practice okay. and how do you manage it, please? Okay, so we start with easy things, regular basketball stuff, and then we start focusing on three, three things we need to improve on. It's on ball screens, screen aways, certain actions, certain movements, uh, also the, the because you have the set plays, but also the, the motion actions. So we work on things we want to uh, introduce into our game, so all new stuff. Then we go through tactics. And, and focus on certain things. So it's, it's, it's really a tactical thing. And then when we start practicing, we, we put in the physical part and try to do those tactical things while you're getting pushed and, 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 and sprint around. Est-ce que tu peux décrire la relation que vous avez entre teammates ici dans la team Antwerp? Oui, maintenant c'est un, un, un groupe d'amis euh, parce que oui, on, on a commencé il y a deux ans. Donc euh, maintenant, oui, ça, ça développe vraiment bien parce que Tu dois uh, aller par, par dans tout le monde avec eux et donc c'est vraiment chouette. What is your recruitment process? How do you recruit the new players? I I, I know every Belgian player, eh? so you look at a certain uh, you need a certain size, certain mentality, and fam family situation is also important. If you have three kids, it will be difficult because you're on the road. So so we need the young players without girlfriends <laughs> who are willing to, it helps, some have girlfriends, but still, uh, who, who, who want to make a, a risk or want to explore the world. Because we, we go next month to Japan, Mongolia and Manila, places where you normally never go or not, not uh, that much. So it's, it's, it's nice if you want to think outside of the box, but it's, it's, a, it's a step in the beginning. So when we see an individual that's interesting, we try to take him to a tournament once and then he sees it. He sees he plays in Dubai. He's like, oh, I want to keep doing this. So that makes it easier. We come at really nice spots in the world.